thing and then we're gonna we're done. Now, remember one thing, you don't have to mount from there. What you can do is, if you feel that you're losing balance or whatnot, you can turn your hips and you can go north south. So look, you just have to make sure that the near hand blocks his hip. And as you do all this right here, you're framing, 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 from under here, 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 here. And, and I feel like kinda, I can't do it or I'm showing this hand right here has to grab a belt. Hand up front. So be careful, it's this. As long as you're controlling that shoulder and the elbow is controlling this head. I, it's not just sitting here and resting. Creating on that space for you. Okay. Perfectly belt, pull, and then control. Because I need to be able to like flatten that here. So if he's here, I can turn my hips and now I'm going back to north south. And if you look, his arms are already getting out of position. As we're working with this over here, okay, I'm thinking of how to, here. And you can begin to create movement in order to be able to mount in a nice low way to where he's more focused on protecting his head, okay? So look, we're here, he's framing, yeah, for me, he's still framing on here. And now he's got his leg up or whatever it is, you know. This one. This one. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah. Really? Right here. Okay. Yeah. Right here. 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 Some got stuck on the knee. So you're moving, and I assure you, he's consuming a lot more energy than you are. So this whole practice here is just movement. You're rolling the hips with the belt line as the main part of the connection, right? Just like how we learned that frame, roll the hip, block the hip, and I just turn the hip, and the hips low. I'm gonna turn his head with my knees right here, give him a little business here. I see that hand there. Where did you put this on?